Hello. Hello. I'm trying to uh, find a, a Heather. Excuse me. What you say? I'm trying to reach a Heather. Is this it Heather? Heather? How are you? Okay. Okay. Listen. <laughs> uh, I got your number from uh from Lois. Lo- that's my mama. I'm, I'm Maurice. I'm Lois' oldest son. Lois, you, wait a minute. Wait you? a minute now. Wait. Wait. Excuse me. Lois. Who's Lois? Lois. Oh, okay. Wait. Lois. 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 Yes. 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 Hi. Okay. How are you? I'm good. You. 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 You was at uh at Mama Dean's house on um on New Year's Day. Yes, yes. Okay. Everybody was there. Okay. Mm-hmm. When I got when I got there, you was gone. But what I'm okay. what I'm calling about is you the one made the Black Eyed Peas, right? I did. You enjoyed them? No, I ain't enjoyed a mother thing. That's why I'm calling you. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say this here. Let me say this. No, no, Your no. Mother- I'm at work. You can't talk to me like this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Say whatever you got to say, but please don't curse at me. Don't do no, that. No, okay. No, no. Here go the deal. Your mother beans got my fucking oh, stomach go. all jacked up, and I didn't have to go down to the doctor to get my stomach pumped. I ain't got no damn insurance or none of this shit. You know, this 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 didn't have me messed up for the last week. You know, okay, first of all, I asked you to I've stop cursing at me. I've been trying to get number for the longest to tell you exactly, you know, how f***ed up your damn things is. Okay, first the f*** of all, okay? I told your ass I'm at work. I'm around all these white people. I can't talk to you the way I want to talk to you. But let me just tell you this. Don't call me with the dumb s***. First of all, there was a whole bunch of food there. How do you know? How can you single out my damn beans that made you sit with all that got food there? You're not going to blame me. Get the f*** out of here. My, 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 mama, mama Dean said you was the one that made the beans. You I don't give a f*** you what Mama beans. Dean said. It was all this food there, and you going to single out my beans? Nobody else complained? You know what the day's date is? Okay? Ain't not one other person called me about them beans. And... By the, as a matter of fact, other people were complimenting me. So for you to call me with the dumb all late and wrong, going to blame me probably because you need a doctor's appointment, you should have got Obamacare when it was available to you, and now you want to call me with no, 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 no. So you can no, tell no, Lois no, 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 or whatever. No, 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 no. Well, you know what? Try to blame on somebody. You trying to blame this somebody else's food. Joe Beans my stomach up, and that's what and that's what it boils down to. And at the end of the day, you're finna give me some at money the end of the doctor bill. Know the hell I ain't. <laughs> what doctor bill? You said you don't have insurance. So how does the hell did you I, go to the doctor with no insurance? I had to pay out my pocket to get my stomach pumped. Oh, okay, well it's taken care of. If you paid out your pocket, that means the bill is paid, so you can get. And, 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 and you gonna reimburse me? What no, I'm, I'm not going to reimburse you with. Okay. In fact, I got more beans for you since you got a problem with them. I got a whole bowl for you. Okay. How about? Cause you full of. So if it made you, that's good for you. Hey, look, look, I, look, I'm going to tell you this here right now. Uh, the bill was $472. I need $472. 472 dollars for your bull beans. No, okay. no, no, no. Yes. You're not getting yes. no money from me. And I need to go because I got work to do. I don't know what you got to do spending all this time on the f***ing phone talking about some beans with all that food. So the rice didn't do it. The meat didn't do it. They had uh, smothered gravy. Gravy always f- people up. That didn't do it. You want to single out my beans? out of here. Don't be calling me with this dumb shit. You know what? Now, I, I, tell me who gave me your number. Because I don't even know you. I do know your mom a little Mama bit. De- Mama, Mama, Mama Dean gave me your number. I called Mama so Dean. Mama got Dean passing number. out numbers. Well, I'm going to call Mama Dean. And I'm going to see if anybody else got sick, which I know they didn't, because your ass is full of shit. So I'm going to call her, see if anybody got sick. How about we do it that way? And also, I'm going to call your mother. Okay? I'm going to call Miss Lois and see why her Dad's son is calling me on the phone because this is some bull. I'm fucking sick and tired of this phone call, and nothing was wrong with my beans. If anything, something wrong with you. And so take a laxative, clear your ass out, and keep it the f- moving. But you gonna get off my goddamn phone? Okay, okay, okay. They say they say Tommy had some problem with the beans too. Huh? First of all, I don't even know no goddamn Tommy. I ba- barely know your mom. I just know her by face. I don't even know her, know her. So, f- Tommy, f- you. I'm calling Mama Dean. She ain't got no business giving my mother f- number to nobody. This is so what Tommy you want, what, you, what, you, what you want me to tell Tommy then? I just told you I don't know anybody named Tommy. Okay, so you can tell him whatever the f- you want to tell him. And if you're trying to gain other people who want to jump on your side, it's not going to happen because nobody complained about the beans. Give me okay, names. Give me another name because Tommy wasn't there. I know just about everybody that was there. Wasn't nobody named Tommy there. Okay, okay. So you're going to say nephew Tommy, nephew Tommy wasn't there?
What? <laughs> nephew Tommy. This is Nephew Tommy That's... from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Heather, you just... Oh! <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Your cousin oh, Faye. Your cousin oh. Faye got me to prank phone call. Are you crazy? I'm at work. People walking by me, looking at me. I'm about to get written up around with you, Tommy. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> And I know my peas are good. I know they good. Oh, man, you got me. You got me wanting to taste your black eyed peas, baby. They are good. And nobody can play. I'm sitting here like, I know I ain't get these people sick. <laughs> you wasn't going to get no money. <laughs> oh. hey, tell me this, baby. Tell me this. What is the baddest, the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, but you know it. But you know it's Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Great. <laughs> uh, happy 2020 to you, Heather. Keep cooking your beans, baby. You all good. All right. Thank you. Have a new year. All right. Happy new year. Hey, and next year, I'll probably pop up in Mama Dean's house, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to come. Hello? Uh, I'm trying to reach, uh, uh, I think the name is Dom- Dominique. Yeah, speaking. Okay, Dominique. My name is, is Mr. Uh, Johnny D- And, uh... I live all on Street. Are, are you the person that do a lot of walking in the neighborhood uh, here on Street? Yeah, um, I don't. I don't think I've met you. I mean, I know everyone on Street. I've lived in the neighborhood for years. Okay, well, I, yeah, you probably don't know. You, know, I don't know if we met or not, but I just know I asked somebody who you was that was passing by, and they tell me that your name was Dominique, and I asked mm-hmm. one of the neighbors if they wouldn't mind if I reached out to you, and uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm. I'm you know, I'm having a problem with the, all the walking that you're doing, and especially uh, when, you know, we we supposed to well, be practicing social distance or whatever. Oh, oh but, well, listen, sir, I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I, I doubt I stepped on your grass running. I don't know what's the problem. Um, but, yeah, I've been jogging um, for years, and, you know, and that's just my route. So um, if there's well, is there a way you can change, is there a way you can change your route? Why would I do that? Because, like I say, it's social distancing. You know, some of this stuff is not on the bottom of, of people's shoes. You know, you can okay, you can well, leave that. That's not. Listen, I'm so sorry. I'm going to cut you off, but there's a lot of shit on the news right now that's not accurate. You have nothing to worry about, especially if we haven't even met. You don't see me. I'm just running by. I'm not hanging out outside of your home or anything but like that. But when you okay? run by, how do I know it's not coming out of you when you run by? How do I know well, that? Then, well, well, then talk to your doctor about that. I'm not a doctor, but I have to exercise. and that's Okay, but I, and I understand you got to exercise, but can you exercise somewhere else? I, I pressure wash my whole sidewalk and driveway only because your ass keep running past here. You what, got me. What, you, what's, what's your door number? You don't need to know my address, ma'am. You don't need to know that. that don't don't okay, worry about I what my I don't know your address. I don't know what house I need to avoid. How about you just stay off of Street? How about that? No. I'm, I'm not going to do that. This call is absolutely just ridiculous. You can't ask me. You can't call me right now under all the pressure everyone's going through, asking me not to run. You can run, but just run somewhere else. Don't run on street is what I'm asking. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel really attacked. I'm not okay with this. I'm not going to stop running. You're not going to scare me off into... into well, I, do I need to call the po- Do I need to call the police for this? What you I, I can call the law. What are you going to call the police? What are you going to tell because them, that I'm running? you are not practicing social distancing. When and that's have what I they seen say. you? When, have I, when the hell have I seen you to not practice social distancing? What are you talking okay. about? Well, why don't, don't you run out? Why don't, don't you right run now. in the, Why don't you run in the street and not on my sidewalk? How about you do it like that? You don't own the sidewalk. I, I, I want you to understand that. You don't own that. You can't tell me where to run and where not to run. If I'm not on your property. I pay, you let, 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 I pay taxes like every other person around and here. And so do I. And so do I. But I'm getting really f- pissed off right now. And I'm going to let you know I will not stop running. You will not intimidate me. And if you call me again and try to scare me off uh, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to tell you what you are doing is jeopardizing other people. You are on the sidewalk. That yeah, is on yeah. your shoes. Yeah. That you is in your chest. Informed. And you are blowing all that out your throat is what you're doing. You are a idiot. You are misinformed, and you don't know what you're talking about asking for my number. Don't ever call me again, or I'll call the police on you for harassment. I don't know who you're talking about. D- listen, d- d- if, if we can't come to an agreement, then I'm going no, to block the sidewalk off 
Nobody going to be walking on it. Oh, okay. Well, then you can just deal with the city because that's not my problem. You go ahead and you try to block the whole damn street and you see how that works out for you. Why, why, why do you insist on giving this to other people on, on your shoes and, and blowing out your mouth and you, you're so close to people's houses? I'm, I'm an older man. I don't, I'm an older I, I don't man. I don't need that. What? I don't even know who the hell you are. I told you when I called, my name is Mr. John. Everybody call me Mr. Okay. So, Mr. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to stop running. If I see anybody, I'm going to continue to practice social distancing, but you will not intimidate me into changing my route. I'm not doing that. I've well, I'm going to tell you this. If your black ass is on my sidewalk, I'm going to take my pressure washer and I'm going to pressure wash them damn shoes that I know is nasty. I know they nasty when you come up and down my sidewalk. Well, you know I know they You eat. know what? You know what? This is escalated now. I'm calling my husband. I'm calling the police. Mr. You're going to hear from a lawyer. You're never, ever going to have this conversation with me again because you are a piece of shit. Do you hear me? You are a piece of shit. I'm paying you. You call me right. Mr. And if you bring your husband around here, I'm going to pressure watch his ass too. Okay, we'll see about that. You're not going to intimidate us. Well, let, let, me ask, let me ask you this here. Do you have a... Uh... Uh, a, a cousin named Danielle. Did Danielle give you my number? You do know Danielle, right? Yeah. What the f*** does Danielle have to do with this? Danielle is the person that told me to give you a call and prank phone call you. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Dominique, oh my God. your cousin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am here like the curse because my kids are in the other room doing schoolwork. I've been texting my husband. You have me out here looking crazy. Oh, my God. I've already started sweating. I really thought I was going to have to take this man to court. Your cousin, your cousin Danielle says oh she runs. My, she runs two, her. three times a day. She say this COVID nineteen is driving her crazy. Tommy, you oh gotta get her. She my said. God, <laughs> she is. Listen, she is messed up. This. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her back. <laughs> All right, but you got to tell me, Dominique, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> Obviously, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Owen, please. Yeah, this is Owen. Hi, Owen. This is Ramon. I'm giving you a call. Um, we were just confirming your appointment at 11 on Thursday, and I wanted to make sure you're a new client, so we wanted to make sure that you were okay. Wait a minute. Uh, appointment for what? You have a spa treatment scheduled um, at 11 on Thursday. You did receive a spa treatment from your wife for Christmas? Um, but I don't remember being set up for anything or any appointment. Well, she's made an appointment for you for 11 o'clock on this coming Thursday. So I'm just calling to confirm that you would definitely be in to the salon. Well, I thought this was like a couple's massage or something like that. So what is the treatment all about? What's, what, what do you guys, I don't, I don't understand. Um, well, she's got you signed up for us to actually wax your back and your buttocks on Thursday. And we actually have a special that we have a, um, a manzillion, which is a Brazilian. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. We have a this, manzillion. This, is, this, that is, we, this isn't for real. Sir, we have you lined up for an appointment. If you don't want the appointment, please let us know. Wax my my back and my ass. Get the hell out of here. Manzillion? What the hell it's, is a manzillion? It, your, your, your wife has set you up for a back and butt hair removal, which is waxing. And what I'm saying is a manzillion is if you would like that, we would remove all the hair from your private area as well. <laughs> yeah, try again, man. There's no f-ing way I'm getting my private wax. What, so I could be hairless? Like a, like a, <laughs> no way. Get out of here. Evidently, if your wife has set you up for this, maybe she's not into all, you, have, you evidently have a lot of hair on your back, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm a hairy guy, but she's never said anything about it. She likes it. She, okay. She, she calls me her well, little gorilla. She loves it. Well, maybe there's a mix of communication because this is the thing she's asking us to do is to remove your hair. Yeah, no, that's not happening. And if she's going to have to tell me yourself, and there's no f-ing way I'm going in to have somebody rip the hair off my back and my ass and my private. You kidding me? To get the f- out of here this is crazy sir this is this is a very professional procedure it won't take long we'll have you in and out within 45 minutes but you're gonna, For, you're gonna 45 minutes 
40, it's going to take 45 minutes. minutes to rip off all of this hair? That sounds like torture. You f***ing kidding me? Okay, sir. You know, no, do you, do no, you know? no. I think we're done. I think what do we're you mean we're done? We're, no, we're I, not I mean, done I mean because, I'm, I'm going to no. tell her to get a refund. You're not, no no one's getting a refund, okay? There's not going to be a refund. Now, you're supposed to come in at 11. This is something that she wants you to do. Yeah, I'm not doing it. She, Listen to me. I am not getting whacked. That's not something a man does. There's no f- way I'm doing that. If this is for real, I'm going to have a talk with her as soon as she gets home. Because, no. 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 Sir, sir, right now, right now, you are disrespecting my profession. That's what you're doing. Okay, okay look, I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't know what this is all about. I don't, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but there's no f- way I'm doing this, all right? I'm not getting the back. No. I mean, if there's something she wants wax, you can wax her private. That's cool. But a man has hair. I mean, it's... Is, well, if she men made have an appointment, hair. then she's serious about getting it done. Uh, yeah, well, I'm serious about not going. So, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know how, how I can explain that to you. I'm not coming in. You can reschedule it for somebody else. I'll talk to her when she gets home, but that's, that's it. I'm just. I'm well, done. your wife has paid $200 for this procedure. What? Did you say $200? Your wife has paid $200 for this procedure. Yeah, no. She's, she's got to get a refund. You guys are no, this is this, money. Wait a minute, sir. Sir, Owen, this is non-refundable. So there is no money coming back. I will let you know okay. that. 200 f***ing bucks? There's no f***ing way. you got to be f***ing kidding me. To, 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 to take hair off of my back and my back. 200 bucks? So, sir, you know it's what? A, it's a, this no. is a very reputable spa here. We, I don't. I don't doing... care. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go to the dollar store and get a, a a pack of razors for a dollar, and she's gonna do it herself. And I'll give her. I'll give her ten bucks. If she's good, I'll give her a tip. And that's the five. Fifteen bucks. I'm done. I'm saved. Two hundred bucks. There's no f-ing way. There is no f-ing way. We are paying that money, and you guys are keeping that money. There's no f-ing way. Okay. Do you understand? There's no. No. There's. there's... Definitely not no. a, there is not a refund, Mr. Owen. There's definitely not a refund. Mr. Owen, what the f- who the f- are you? There's no f- way. And I'm going to talk to you I'm Ramon. I am Ramon here at the spa. And your wife came in and purchased this wonderful gift for you for Christmas. R- and R- now Ramon, you're Ramon. Acting, I don't give no, a f- you're Ramon. Listen to me. Now. You're, you're not respecting my profession. You're acting I don't, I, look, look. I'm not trying to disrespect you, but I don't care about the, the f- profession. There's no f- way that actually that's robbery charging somebody 200 bucks to rip off hair off their their body there's no way i'm just not doing it and i'm going to talk to her she's going to do it herself i'm pissed because you're disrespecting my profession and you're not coming in at 11 i was supposed to come in at 11 so we could wax your back and your butt and now you're saying no there there will be nothing whack i'm not coming in at 11 i'm not coming in ever She's going to take care of this, so you don't have to worry about it, Ramon. I mean, well, all respect no to you, refund. but no. I need you to no. know that, Mr. Owen. There is no refund, okay? I mean, this, this is f***ing ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Your cousin Peter, have you spoken to him lately? How the f*** do you know Peter? Peter got me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got <laughs> pranked by yo. You just Get got the f- out of here. Peter. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew this was f- there's no f-ing way. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, man, he's going to get it. I got to ask you something, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show, <laughs> no doubt. Hello? Hello, I am trying to reach uh, Leslie. Is Leslie uh, available? Um, She is a little bit busy right now, but this is her mother. Can I help you? Okay, and your name is? My name is Keisha. Keisha, all right. Keisha, this is Ernest. Ernest, I am with, um, I'm kind of like the event planner for the kids' prom. So I'm calling, I um, got you all's number from the school. You all, um, and I'm glad to, and proud to let you know that the prom is going to be back on. So hopefully Leslie will be excited about that. What? Wait, all right. Um, yeah, she's going to, wow, this is, okay, this is exciting. Yeah, so, so it's gonna be it's 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 V prom. Um, I'm with V prom, and uh, I wanted to call and make sure she knew all the particulars about the prom. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be Saturday night, May 23rd. You want to get a pen and maybe write jot some of this oh, down? Yeah, yeah. Leslie, grab me a pen. 
Thank you. Yeah, I'll tell you. All right. Let me just. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Saturday, May 23rd. Mm-hmm. Got All right, it. Okay. and that'll be and, 7, okay, that'll be so 7 p.m., okay? Okay, 7 p.m. And where did you, sorry, where did you say it's going to be? Because, you know, with everything going on, how, how how's that going to work? Well, like I said, I'm with V Prom, and V is for oh, virtual. Oh, V. Oh, I thought you were saying V. Pro. Okay, V. Okay. V is in virtual. Victor. Virtual. Yeah, virtual prom. It's, so it's going to be online, and it is a requirement from the school that all of the students okay. attend. Another requirement, you want to write this down, yeah, is write she this has down. to have, she has to be dressed uh, uh, in uh, informal wear. Okay, so she's definitely going to need like, a gown on. Wait, so like. We can't just do like her like her college interview clothes, just a cute little like a skirt and a shirt or something. No, we need we need a full gown, ma'am. What 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 you would normally wear to a prom? Wait, wait you're playing, right? Uh, no, not this is these are the requirements. We know we're we're creating the prom atmosphere, and we definitely no, want every student. And for in, the, yeah, and for the kids who already got their dresses, good for them, but. You know, we haven't been able to go anywhere or do anything, so I would assume you're making an exception for, you know, anybody who doesn't have anything. like. We're, no, we're there are no out. exceptions, ma'am. There are no exceptions. You, you will have to have a gown. All the gentlemen will be wearing tuxedos. Your, uh, the young ladies will be wearing gowns. This is going to happen May 23rd at 7 p.m., this is and crazy. it is virtual. Uh, you're saying I'm sorry? virtual, like, like virtual, like on the computer. Yes, but we will be In taking notes on... In your house, and whoever is not wearing the proper attire will not graduate. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Okay, I'm going to need you to back up for a second because you're trying to tell me this this girl is required to go to this prom, required to wear elegant a uh, prom dress, which I don't even I don't know where the hell we going to get a, a dress right now. I don't even know who'd be open to get a dress. Why am I going to spend money on a dress when she's going to use it in the house? But, Besides okay, that, okay, you're trying to okay, tell me, no, wait a minute, wait, wait, you're trying to tell me that she can't graduate if she doesn't have a prom dress, for the, if she doesn't go to this thing in a dress? That, that, those are the rules, ma'am. Those are the rules. I I'm, just work, I work for V, I work for V Prom, wait a minute, and the wait school a hired my, uh, no. the company that mm -hmm. I work for. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, here's my, here's uh, m Mm, okay. All right. I am trying to, I am trying to count to 10 here. Okay. Wait a minute. Here's my problem. I'm still trying to figure out homeschooling for this girl so she can graduate in the first place with the right grades. And you're trying to tell me if she doesn't figure out this prom mess, this, this online virtual crap that she's not going to graduate. Well, you need to take everything that I'm telling you and tell the school that they can figure it out because she's not going to be showing up and no showing up. What am I, she's going to be on the, on the computer. She, no, no, no. This isn't going to happen, so you better figure it out. This is okay. ridiculous. Ma'am, we, th th we have a website that you can buy from our company if you would like to buy a dress and get oh, a dress. Oh, how uh, convenient. How convenient. You run the prom, you run the dress company, and the dress is required. That that just seems like more than a coincidence, but okay. You know what? Nah, le no, le le Leslie can't go to the prom this year. I guess she ain't graduating because... You know what? I'm sure. I'm sure the principal would like to hear from from some parents who have a problem with this. Everybody can't be on board with it. This is crazy. Why would you send your daughter to private school if you can't afford a dress? That doesn't make Excuse sense to me. Excuse me. Oh, what? Who the? Who the? Leslie, go do your own work. Go. Go. Who the f do you think you are? Who are you talking to right now? Why? Why would you, you send your daughter to private school if you can't? Uh, you can't afford a dress. I can't afford a dress. You out here trying to trying to hustle for dresses and proms for virtual prom. You know what? I can have my own virtual prom. I can call up everybody in her class and be like, let's all do virtual Zoom, whatever, and we can have our own prom and wear whatever we want. But you out here trying to trying to say you can have a virtual prom and you have to wear a dress and and spend money on it and we can get it from your site. You have got to be f***ing kidding me right now. I don't know who the f*** you think you are, but I know one thing. I'm not trying to worry about no my f***ing daughter wearing a, a damn prom, wearing a prom dress to her f***ing living room so she can be on the Skype, Zoom, whatever, with her friend. No, you know, this is crazy. I have bigger things to deal with. I don't know if you know, but there's a f***ing pandemic going on outside. And you out here trying to hustle me for a f***ing prom dress? And you're trying to tell me she's not going to graduate without a f***ing you can no, get no, no, no. you can get this dress overnight if you go to our website, ma'am. That's why. Even if I was stupid, 
it, even if I was the dumbest mother in the world and I was dumb enough to get a dress, I would never get it from you. I don't know who the f you are talking to, talking to me about my financials and what I can afford in private school. You don't know who the f I am. So I don't know who you are calling me and talking to me about some sh You're crazy. This is Okay, ridiculous. well, let me I ask, let me ask, let me ask, let me ask you this. Is your, your husband is Adrian, correct? Yeah. Why do you, yes. Why do you need to know that? Adrian told me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband, Adrian, got me to prank phone call you. Okay. <laughs> I need to, I just need a moment. <laughs> I was about to put on a mask and march down to that school. <laughs> Tommy, it is, it is too crazy out here in these streets for you to be f***ing with people like this. Oh, my uh. goodness. Tell me this, baby. It's 2020. What is the baddest? And I mean the baddest radio show in the land. Well, you know it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, of course. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach a Nikki. This is Nikki. <laughs> How you doing, Nikki? Uh, I am, I'm Mr. Daniels. I'm calling from the e-learning department. Hey. All right. Your daughter is, is Jasmine, correct? Sixth grader? Yes, sir. Yes, she is. All right. And you guys have been corresponding back and forth with Miss and her teacher? Yes. All right. Uh Miss has brought some things to my attention. Uh Nikki, if you don't mind, who's who's actually helping Jasmine with her schoolwork? That would be me. All right. So, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but let me let you know what's going on. Is um, wrong with her computer? No, that's not anything wrong with her computer at all. I've spoken with Miss several times about Jasmine. And we've just balled it down to whoever's helping her with her work is just not doing a good job. You should not be the person that's helping her with her schoolwork. Okay, hold on. Now, what what you mean? I shouldn't be helping her. That's my child. You I, said I, I shouldn't understand. be teaching my child? I'm saying whoever is teaching her is not doing a good job as a teacher. You know, and this could affect Jasmine to the point where, from the looks of what I've seen and, and what's been turned in, I truly don't see Jasmine going to the seventh grade. I mean, this is, this is, um, is there anybody else there that can help Jasmine with her work? No, she got, she got me. What's wrong with her work? What Ms. got to say? Cause I just talked to her and she could have told me this. What's, what, what, what's the subject? What's the problem? Well, Math, it's all the science, reading, writing. It's, no, it's, it's, not it's all of them. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's the problem? What's, what's the problem? Give me the assignment. Because I'm, I've, I've been working with her. So what's the problem? Well, everything is coming back. I think the last uh, paper I looked at, she got a 45 on it. Uh, I looked at some math work. It was a, a 62. I mean, if you are the person that's teaching her over there, you're just not no, you can wait. good at that. Wait a minute. No, you hold on. And you can get Miss on the phone too because I don't I y'all don't got my baby work and if she got a problem she can come teach the child she can open up the schools and get them back because my baby is well, well, there, there's no opening the schools at at this point right now there's no opening of the schools so Look, we're, if, we're, if she got a problem if she got a problem then she can come teach my child that's what she's supposed to be doing anyway okay but the, the problem is right now you're the person that's at home teaching yes. the child you're the person that's at home teaching the girl, and, and it's not helping. So I don't want Jasmine to not make it to the seventh grade, but at this point, it, that's what it's looking like. Well, look, if I got to teach it, then she's going to learn it how I learn it. Okay, with this math, this new math they got these kids doing, no. She's going to learn it how I learn Five times five, 25. She's going to learn her timetable. Okay, but we can't, ma'am, you're undoing what we've taught already. You can't well, take them to, back. Y'all need to teach it. Y'all need to teach it a better way. I send my child to school for this. Okay, I'm not getting paid. I gotta cook. I gotta clean. I'm in here with these kids. I'm being a, a, a mother to all these kids and my husband. I don't have time for all of this. So if if, uh, if the teacher, well, I, you the know, teacher needs to well, let me say this, Miss Nikki. Let me let me say this, Miss Nikki. I don't have time for a parent not realizing that they're not a good teacher. I don't have I time don't have for that. Time for whoever you. You, whoever you are, e-learning department, whatever, you need to come e-learn my child since I'm not doing it right. Then y'all need to come get over here and do this mother work. Do this work. Okay, my if, child if, is if, going to the seventh grade. And if I got to come up there, when, when the school opens back, oh, trust you will see me. We don't have time okay. for this. 
We got too okay, much well, going on. You are not a good homeschool teacher. That's the problem. <laughs> My child is going to the seventh grade. Oh, Chester. Mm-hmm. No. Who is your print? Who is the print? No. No. Let me talk to somebody else. You ain't doing it. My child is going to the seventh grade. She going to get this. She get this work. And y'all, y'all going to get this work, too. I'm, I'm not accepting uh, uh, 45s and 62s on papers, ma'am, and, and going to let you, your daughter advance to the seventh grade. That's okay. not... You're right. I'll, I'll check it over, but y'all need to double check. And if she's having no, no, problem, no, no, no. Once, once again, teacher. you checking it over is the problem. You're the problem. <laughs> if she got a problem, what she got a mother teacher for? What she got a teacher for? The teacher, let the teacher check the work. What's the difference? Let the teacher check the work. <laughs> And you, well, hold on. What's your name again? You talking to me? My name is Mr. Yeah, Dang. Okay. I'm from the e-learning. e-learning down. Okay, I don't give a damn for, for what e-learning you need. Oh, man. Look, I care what it is. I don't care how the first class with me. You get off this phone. I'm calling her ass up right immediately. So she can tell me all this stuff you got to tell me. She don't got to hide behind you. She can call me directly. So thank you, Mr. Dang. Let me know. Oh, it's about to go down. I don't even dare. I don't care no more. This school, if y'all got an issue with the way I'm teaching, take your kids back. Come teach in the front yard. I'll open up my door. You can talk, teach my child from outside. You got a problem with it. But that's from right now, I'm all she got. I'm what she got. So if I'm a teacher, she going to learn it the way I'm teaching her. If y'all got a problem, y'all got a problem. But she going to the seventh grade. Oh, best believe. My baby going to the seventh grade. Okay, then, then, then maybe, maybe I just, maybe I need to talk to Brian. Your husband. Maybe I need to talk to Brian. About what? You can talk to me. You can talk to me. You don't need to talk to him. You can talk to me. I speak for both of us. So not nah, talk to me. Damn okay, what? well, I, Damn I what? just, I spoke with Brian a couple of days ago. So? He didn't say nothing to me. So? And? Brian at okay. work. Okay, but, but you know what, what Brian said about this? Said what? Brian. Because he didn't tell me nothing. What? Brian told me to call you. He told me to prank phone call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve oh, Harvey Morning man. Show. Nikki, you just got pranked by your husband, Brian. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't let me get him. He's nothing. Look, these kids been driving me up the wall. I hate <laughs> them. Too. I hate them. I understand this stuff. These kids driving me crazy. They want to Nikki, you all right? <laughs> oh, my God. What? Man, look, coronavirus don't have to see me after this. This is too much. I done started <laughs> drinking. Oh, Lord, come get these kids. Tell me one more thing, baby. It's 2020. Tell me what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to speak to uh, Angel, please. This is Angel. Who's this? Angel, how you doing? My name is Randall. I live in the in the apartment building that you live in. How you doing today? I'm I'm doing okay. Is something wrong? Well, we got a little bit of a problem. Uh, I know it's a lot going on right now, you know, with the with the virus and all. But uh, it's been brought to my attention. I, I talked to the doorman, and he was telling me I, I've, you're the only person I've really seen going in and out of the building. W- where exactly do you work? If you don't mind me asking, Miss Angel. I actually do mind you asking. Um, can you tell me why you're concerned about where I work and where I'm going? Okay, so here's the deal. Like, you know, we're all concerned about, you know, this whole virus thing. I'm noticing you going in and out this building every day. Every day you're going in and out, and I noticed that. So I asked the doorman about you, and he said something about that you had to go to work or you, uh, you know, you got one of those jobs that you – you got to be there or something like that. I don't know, but yes, I, you know. I, I'm an essential worker, but wait, so t- how, where did you get my number from? I, I asked around to a few of the neighbors that live on your floor and somebody, I just told them I was concerned. I wanted to talk to you about it. So he, my problem is this, we're trying to keep this whole apartment building safe, but you going in and out of it does not make it safe for us. You know, you, you kind of need to stay at home right now until all of this is over with. Uh, are you telling me what I need to do? Is that what you I'm telling you what right you now? need to do in, in the safety for the apartment building. That's what I'm saying. 
you 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 don't need to leave this. You don't need to leave the house no more. Ooh, I am not the one today. Listen, unless you are going to tell me that you are going to pay my rent and my bills and take care of my daughter, you need to mind your damn business. No, I can no. come and go as I damn well please. No, you're not finna keep bringing. See, see, that's what that's my problem. And see, that's the attitude I don't like. See, if you coming in and out of this building, bringing, we don't know if you bringing something in here or not. That's the problem I have with this. And that's why I'm calling okay, you right now. Do you have now. a problem with, with eating food every day? Because I work in a grocery store. I, do you have a problem with making sure that the shelves are stocked? You work at and the grocery store. I do work at that, the grocery store. So you around all them people and then you coming back to this apartment building? And I'm also around all the food that you probably eat. What's your point? Uh, the point unless is... You're, you unless work, you're hauled up in there eating canned tuna from two years ago, rice and beans, I'm pretty sure your food came from the grocery store. So essential workers like me are crucial to keep those uh, stores open. I, I, listen, listen, I, I, I understand, but as far as... You know, I, I'm 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 part of the team that 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 controls uh, all the people in the bill as far as the neighbors are concerned. <laughs> I think I think you you misunderstand who you might think you are to me. You're nobody to me. You're just a neighbor. You don't control anything. You don't control where I go, who I go with, when I go, when I come. You don't control any of that. So I don't know what you think you might control. But uh, I, 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 let me say this. End of the day, you need to keep your ass at home until this is over with. That's it. That's not. You're okay, gonna make well, me say. I'll safe. be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for that check for the rent and for my bills. So when you slide that underneath the door, I'll do as you please. I'm not until coming then, nowhere near business. your door. I'm not coming right. nowhere exactly. near your. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Look, and you let me say this here. Near if I, if I, do. if I see you leave your building again, we're not letting you back in. Are, is this you have lost your mind? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Because we, we see, 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 and see, this is the attitude I don't like. Is somebody not taking this seriously? What attitude you don't like? I pay rent here. I have always paid rent here, and me and my daughter live here, and we mind our business. You weren't going to tell me when I go and come, and when I'm going to get into my own apartment. Get out of here! What is wrong with you? Listen, I'm going to say this to you. If you're not going to abide by what I'm telling you, then I'm, you, you, I already know it's you and your daughter, Christy, up there. I will have, have I'm, both of y'all sorry, move. Compl- me? I will have sorry. you and your you daughter, just... Christy, move. What? What? <laughs> okay, I don't know who the f*** you think you are talking to, but I know you are not saying my daughter's name. You need to mind your mother's business. Me and my child are my business. You and whoever is your business need to stay the f*** over there and leave me and my family alone. I cannot believe you up in here talking about my kid. Are you out of here? You've lost your mind. You must have lost your mind. What unit did oh, you say you lived in? I, I didn't, say, I didn't, say, what, I didn't say what unit I lived in. I didn't say that. Okay, well, go ahead and tell me. Since you got so much to say, since you got such a problem with my mother attitude, okay, well, we can have a conversation face to face. How about that? I, Whatever. While you was at work the other day, I already talked to Chris. While I was at work, why the f- do you know my work schedule? Because I see you when you leave. But I talk. I talk to. I talk to your daughter Christy when you left the other day. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is clearly a problem. You got me f- up because you need to mind your business, and I don't ever want to hear anything about you saying anything near my daughter. You clearly have this f- up. Okay, you but your me? daughter, your daughter Christy, is the one that told me to call you. I, I'm sorry, what? Your daughter Christy told me to call you. Matter of fact, she told me to prank call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Angel, you just got pranked by your daughter Christy, girl. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh, y'all got my it's, blood it's, pressure it's, all up and shit. It's, it's a joke, Angel. It's a joke, baby. Your, your daughter, Christy, got me to prank you, baby. Mm-mm. Okay, y'all ain't right for this. I'm going to get her. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is not the time for this bullshit. I'm like, oh, you up, Tommy. These people are on edge right now. This is not the time for these games. Uh, I'm trying oh. to loosen. I'm trying to loosen up the edge, Miss Angel. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to loosen up. Oh my up the goodness! Edge. Tell Ooh, me this. Yeah, yeah. 2020, baby. 2020. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey. The Steve 
Steve Harvey morning show. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm trying to reach uh, Alan. This is Alan. Alan, how you doing, man? My name is Bobby, Bobby Booker. Uh, what what can I do for you? I got your number, man, from the uh, from the hospital. Uh, did you just uh, within the last, I guess, three four months, did you get a, a, a heart transplant? Within three and a half months ago, yeah, I did. I did three and a half months ago. Okay. Are you with our? Yeah. Are you are, are you with the hospital? No, no, I'm not. Uh, actually, you know, I, they gave me your number, man. I hope you okay with it. But you, you, you actually, uh, the, the heart that you got was from from my brother, uh, Troy. And, oh my uh, God, really? Yeah, that was my brother. My wow. brother passed oh, away. Uh, I'm so uh, sorry about your brother, but wow, I gotta tell you, he saved my life, man. Let, let me ask you this, man. I'm just curious because you, you you Caucasian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm white. Yeah. Do you feel any any different having a black man's heart in your body? Do you... <laughs> no, no, no. I I don't feel any different. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. I didn't really think about it though. Uh, and, and this this would just make me and the rest of the family feel good that we knew what he was dedicated to and the things that right. really matter matter to him. Would you feel all right joining the NAACP? Uh. Is that are there some people who are gonna be upset that I join? I mean, is that okay? Uh, no, nah, well, you know, I I don't know about anybody being upset, man. It's just I know my brother that that's what he was a part of, and you know, you you walking around with with his heart, man. It it would just feel different, it'd feel great, you know, to have to feel like he would be back in there doing what he, what he was doing and 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 fighting for 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 uh, injustice for the black community. Now, are you a Democratic or Republican? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you. I I, I was Republican until Trump, and now I'm just really, I, I I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, that guy's an idiot. You you did vote for Trump? I did not, but I am a Republican. Okay. So I, and the reason why you know, because I'm just curious, man. Because I what I what I would hate to see is you know when 2020 come around, you know, you you over there in the voting booth, you know, with my brother Black Heart, and you in there. You know, voting Republican, uh, uh, you know, and 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 that's something that I know my brother wouldn't be doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I, I, I'm just asking. Well, I mean, I'm not happy with Trump, but if someone else in the Republican Party runs, and I I agree with them, I, I'm not, I, it's it's kind of like it's my heart now. I can't change my point of view just because of that. I mean, it's yeah, but 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 but, 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 no, but what you're not gonna do though, man, is be in there with my brother Black Heart and you up in there making some decisions that I know my brother wouldn't do. You see what I'm saying? That's a long what? way off, man, but I can't promise you that. I mean if somebody runs that I like, I mean I'm gonna vote the way I feel my heart and my head tell me to vote. No, well, see, I mean, no, 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 hold on, hold on. See, no, don't, don't say what well, my heart, because that ain't your heart. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother's heart. So you got every right to ask me what you think my brother would feel in his heart, and I'll tell you. You understand what I'm saying? I, 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 I don't. That's the way I feel. Hey, man, let me ask you something. Have you, have you been, like, craving different kind of foods that you don't normally eat? Well, wait, wait a minute. What the kind of call is this man i mean you're asking me all these random questions what what i don't understand where this is coming from it's coming from my brother's heart that's where it's coming from you got my brother black heart inside of you you know yeah i'm asking you i'm asking you to do what my brother would do not what you would do you you, you want to do it from your heart you mean you're doing it from my brother's heart when you first called me about your brother i was excited now i'm thinking how the f did the hospital give you just this number, and you get to call me up. That's privileged information. You shouldn't get to just call me and ask me all these f***ing random questions, man. I just got uh, a heart transplant, and now you're starting to get me worked up. If I'm not trying to get you worked up. Well, you all I'm trying that, to... Man. Okay, okay, well, well let, me, let me just calm down. All I know is you got Troy heart inside of you, and I'm trying to let you know the kind of person Troy feels. Okay, so let me, let me ask you this. Has your music changed? Are you listening to more R&B now? Oh, well, I do like R and B, but I listen to hard rock too. That hasn't changed. Cause what's in Troy heart gonna stay in Troy heart. You understand? So you got to have that's in your heart now. Big butts, NAACP. That's what I'm saying. Okay, what well, is about Troy? I'm trying to tell you about Troy. What? Are you, are you crying, man? I'm trying to tell you about Troy. Hey, 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 hey! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't. I, I know you miss your brother. Don't. Damn. I'm so. I'll, Okay, let me, let me say this. Let me say okay. this. Okay. 
since you got my brother heart, I think it's only right that me and you, we get together and go to go to a Jay Z concert together. I think that's only right. A, a Jay Z and Beyonce concert, we go together because that's what me and my brother did. We we would go see them perform. Well, I mean, they are two of the best of all time. So, am I buying both the tickets? Oh, that's f- up. You got your heart, and you worry about who gonna pay for some tickets? I didn't know. I thought maybe you might want to treat your brother one last time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. it's okay. Listen, I'm really, uh, I'm really sorry. I mean, I get upset. I didn't mean to yell at you. I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry. Uh, do you listen to black radio? Sometimes I do listen to black radio. Do you ever listen to, this, to the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Well, yeah, he's one of the best, man. I used to follow him when he was on Family Feud. He's great. What? What? He's got a nephew on the show, and he, and he does prank phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> And that would be me. Alan, this is Nephew Tommy, baby. Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Oh, get got... the f*** out. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm not kidding, baby. Oh, my God, dude. You almost gave me a second heart attack. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've been pranked, man, by your wife, Robin, and her co-worker, Bridget, partner. You got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? It's your show, baby. Steve Harvey. Come on, man. Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach Natalie, please. Yes, this is Natalie. Natalie, how you doing? My name is Darren. I'm with the uh, Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. Hey, Dan. Uh, we, got a, we got a bit of a problem. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, who's, who, who actually brings your kids home from school uh, each day? Oh, my mom gets my kids for me, and she drops them off. You know, we've had a meeting here at the HOA. We've been getting some complaints. A couple of times, some of the neighbors have told her to slow down, and, you know, I I don't know if she's flicked them off or set something out the window, you know, but, you know, this is stuff that we just cannot tolerate. Huh. Well, it really doesn't sound like my mom, but, you know, I was Okay, well, listen, listen. You know what, Natalie? What, what we're not going to do is what you're not going to do is act like it's not your mama. It's your mother that's doing this. So what we need you to do is tell your mama to slow our down so we don't have this problem. All right? Because I, I, I tried to be nice with you at first, but if you're going to be in denial thinking it's not your mama, then we got an issue. First of all, Darren from HOA, I need you to watch your tone and who the f- you're talking to, all right? I need you to calm that all the way down, okay, all right? I said that down. I would you talk to, to her. You need to, you need to slow your damn mama down. That's what you need to do. Slow your mama down the way she's driving no, through your damn street. No, what you need to do is stand in the middle of the street. If she's flying down, it's so hopefully she can knock you out the way, okay? Don't talk to me like that. You're being rude and disrespectful. I'm going to ask her if it's her because I don't think it's her, but you're not going to talk to me like that. Okay, so your mama can just drive down the street and act a damn fool. Mama could do cold. whatever she want to do. My mama could do whatever she want to do. She a grown-ass woman. It. She can't do it in the neighborhood that I'm a member of the HOA at. She can't do it there, okay? Now, I don't mind having your mama arrested with your kids in the car if I got to. I wish you would. I wish you would have my mama arrested with my kids in the car. You're going to have more problems than you ever had, okay? You better not have my mama arrested. You're going to get arrested, and you're going to be sent to the hospital. How about that? Okay, let me tell you something. Tell your mama to slow her down in these streets. This is the last one that I'm giving y'all. This is the last one. Well, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to give no warnings, okay? We can have a real conversation about it. We can meet and talk about it. Because you ain't going to talk to me like that, and you ain't telling my mama nothing. I ain't telling her to slow down for nothing. What you going to do? What you going to do, Dad? As a matter of fact, let's meet about it. I'll bring my husband, too, since you got so much to say. You know what I'm saying? I want you to have, keep that same energy, okay, with my husband. I want you to talk to him like you talking to me. Hey, 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 let me tell you something. I ain't worried about your husband or none of that, all right? I'm going to say I'm gonna say this right here. I'm going to say this right here. Tommy is the one that told us that your mama was speeding down the street. Tommy the one said it. Tommy? Who the hell is Tommy? Tommy said your mama was the one running up and down the street fast going 40, 50 miles an hour. Tommy the one said that. I don't know who Tommy is, but Tommy can kiss my ass. You can kiss my ass. And any other neighbors who got something to say about my mama can kiss my ass. How about that? Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know him? <laughs> Stop.
Son of a Oh, you got me. You got me. Oh, you got Natalie. me. Natalie, your oh, sister. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had to pull over and text my husband like he was going to leave this song full on the phone talking crazy to me. I was almost about to get you lit up, brother. Lit up, uh, nephew, Tommy. Your sister, Darius, got me to prank phone call you, baby. Your sister. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's going down. It is going down. Oh, Payback is a real mother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm getting back. <laughs> oh, man, I knew that was my mama, and I know you ain't going to talk to me like that either. Oh, no. You got me. You got me. Hey, baby, tell me this. One more thing before you go. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? You know it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> and tell Steve, I said, hey, you is Marty, we looking good? Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Daryl. Yeah, this is Daryl. Who is this? Hey, Daryl, how you doing? My name is Alonzo, man. I um, work for a uh, liquor distributing company. I, I do uh, dist- uh, liquor distribution. How you doing today? Um, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, man. What, what can I do for you? Hey, we're, we're, we're putting together a big, big event, man, with... Uh, vodka and oh. they're throwing a they're throwing a huge pool party and what we're trying to do man is is really get people to come out to this fashion party because it's the first quarter of 2020 we want it to be a one to remember and uh oh. i go to the bank where your where your wife works at kendra oh. and okay what i'm trying to do is see if you're cool with kendra being on our flyer man i mean because your wife is fine as shit. So we want to put what? her on the flyer. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, what you mean my wife is fine as What the? What you mean? By, what, 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 you going to call me up and talk about my wife, huh? What the f*** is wrong oh, with you? But, but, brother, 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 it's, it's, it's a respect thing, though. I'm giving you, I'm giving you props. It's props, man. I'm giving okay, you props. Well, spit out what you need, man, because it don't sound right. Dude, we're trying to get your wife. We want to get her to a photo shoot in a bikini so we can put it whoa, on the whoa, whoa. Hell no, you ain't using my wife in no bikini to put on no flyer. You out your damn mind? That's my wife, man. Respect me. What the okay, okay, you? okay, okay. Okay, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Why are you tripping like this, bro? Why because are you tripping like my this? my wife. My wife ain't gonna be in no damn no flyer for no party, man. What the f*** you think this is? What the f*** wrong with you? Okay, bro, bro. You know what, man? I tried to call you and get you to respect. I mean, I... I it don't sound you like know, it. I, well, well, okay, look. I, I didn't call for no argument. I just I just talked to Kendra when I go to the bank tomorrow and see if she want to do it. Oh, you, oh you going to go to my wife's job at the bank? That's what you're going to do? Okay. I'm just, go ahead I'm, and go I'm down just, there because I'll be there too and I'm going to make a deposit with my foot in your ass. Go ahead. Okay, okay, hold on, man. We we paying we paying five thousand dollars for the photo session. Okay? I don't care what the f- you paying. No amount of money is gonna let me put my wife, the mother of my children, on no f- poster in no bikini. I don't care how much you paying. Kiss my ass before I let you do that. Okay, okay, bro. Uh, uh, okay. So, listen, there. I ain't gonna really go back and forth with you, man. I was calling you trying to be a man. I feel the I'm same way. Okay, well, I, I'm trying to be man to man with you and just, you know, throw the opportunity at you. I, I'm, I'm, now you're throwing it back at me with, with disrespect. I mean, opportunity on, for my wife to be a thought? No, nah, f- no, I don't want none of that. Okay, man. No, your wife's fine as hell. People are. Bro, here. you need to quit telling me how fine my wife is. Okay. Who the f gave you my phone number in the first place? I do, okay? too. I got. Uh, hey, man, that, uh, evidently, that's all null and void at this point. All right, that don't uh, even matter at this point. The boy, the, the, hey, okay. the, issue on the, the issue on the table is I want to take some pictures of Ken. Let me know when you plan on going to my wife's job at the bank. Let me know when you're going to bring your black ass down there so I can be there, okay? Nobody calls another brother up talk about how fine his wife is, okay? I told you no. Now, you should have just stopped right there, but you're going to keep on talking about my wife. Okay, so let me say this, dog. Tommy is the one that said your wife was fine as hell. That's the one brought all this to our attention at the meeting. Tommy is the one that said your wife was fine as hell, though. Tommy? Who the f- is Tommy? Tommy said your wife is fine as hell. That's what Tommy Well, Tommy can get his ass too. Who is Tommy? You, don't you take your wife to work in the morning? Let me know when you're going to bring your black ass down there. Okay. Yes? Now, what y'all, be, what y'all be listening to on the way to work? What radio station y'all be listening to? We've been listening to 
Damn. Big nephew Tommy, baby. See you, Harvey Morton. Tommy. Your, your wife. Your Tommy. Wife. You was about to get your ass booked. Hey, man. Your wife, Kendra, got me to prank you, bro. Uh, oh. Wait till I see. <laughs> Sherman Davis, general manager's assistant. How you guys doing? Everybody here? Hey, Sherman. Yeah. Good. Hi. Yeah, doing fine. Hello, Sherman. Let me make sure we got everybody here. Is Hannah here? Yep. Hannah's here. How's it going? All right. Frank? Yep. I'm on the line. Thank you. All right. Good, good, good. And David? Yep. Hey, Sherman. I'm here. All right, my man. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Got some news for you guys. I need you guys to give me a second. I'm going to put you guys on hold for a second, and I'll be back probably less than 30 seconds, okay? All right. No okay. problem. Will do. Thank you. Cynthia, can you bring me all of the um, stuff on these three guys? I mean, today is supposed to be, uh, they're on hold right now, but today's the day that we're giving them their severance packages and letting them go, and uh, they'll be out of here probably by tomorrow morning. They're clearing their things out. They don't know it yet, but we're going to at least give them their severance packages today. Okay? All right. Hello? Did you guys? All right, guys. Excuse me? Yeah. Excuse Hello? Me? Sherman? Hello? Yeah, this I'm, I'm here, guys. Yeah, you, uh, you never put us on hold? No. Sherman, hey. So are you about to f***ing fire us right now? What are you talking Wait about, Wait a minute. Sherman? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. What, 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 What's going on? What are you guys talking about? We're asking uh, you what's going on. We, we just heard you didn't put us on hold. We just heard all that. Yes. Severance package is what I heard. I heard you're letting us go. Oh, my oh. God. Uh, Sherman? Uh, maybe, thought, Sherman? maybe you're talking about Sherman. some other people. But we okay. Just heard you hey, say hey, guys. Do me, hang, hang on. Everybody, just calm down. Just give me, <laughs> give, give me a second here. Hang on. I just let me, let me. I'll be right back. Hang on. Uh, Hello. Hey, what is going on? Did you? Can, did we hear did, that? Okay. You all heard the same I thing. I don't know what heard that. I don't know what he's talking about. Cynthia, how do I? Did I? Is this? Is this the whole button here? This is it. All right, there we go. They can heard everything. No, they just, they sit and asking me right now. I'm doing what he's telling me to do. This These three are supposed to be let go by the end of the day. I mean, I, I, I got to do it, but it looks like the severance is, nobody can live off of this for even three freaking months. I already know that. This, this is really up. Oh. Oh, All right, so look, bring me everybody's stuff. Let me at least... After lunch, they all come in here and pick up their things. That's all I can think of. Okay? Is this the right button here? Okay. Hello? It's not the right button. We can hear I, you, I, Sherman. I three cannot months, believe Sherman? what I'm hearing. Three what? months. You have to be kidding me. I've been with this, I've been with this for five years, all right? I've not, I've not let you down for a quarter, the company down for a quarter. This is, this is ridiculous. I cannot believe this. And I'm on travel right now, so how am I going to come and get my things? By the end of the day. This is ridiculous. This is how you're going to let us know. Dude. This is unprofessional. This is trash. I cannot believe if you it. Need a, if you all need a lawyer, I have someone. I have contacts. We can talk. But honestly, Sherman, this is, this is, this is unacceptable. This is, let's not do the whole lawyer thing, guys. Okay? Let's not do that. All right? Are now, people get let go you? from companies. People get let go all the time. And you guys know no, this. Let's just let go on a conference call with other people. What are you? This is ridiculous. You're giving okay. a personal business. Yes, yes, that's true. You're giving personal business to another. Uh, it, exactly. It, 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 it's not on hold. Yeah, you cannot be doing this. Yeah, email me that lawyer's number for sure. Yes, yeah, I, will. Okay. I, I will. I will. I got you on it too, David. Thank you. I didn't. I didn't try to for you guys to learn it this way. All right. I'm. I'm. Uh, okay. Let's just say I'm not good at the conference button. I don't know how to put any buttons. Yeah, you're not good at the conference call. 
You're not yeah, good you're at not good at, This is not a good message. It's not, it's, this is not appropriate professional messaging. In fact, this is <laughs> – I'm mortified. I cannot believe this. I is put this five years of my life in this company. This is the size it of what we're no, your best is. employees. No, it okay. is. It is. It is. Hannah's absolutely right. It is illegal. This is illegal. Yep. Yep. I. I will. I'm writing this down. Wait. I'm wait. Wait. Come on. Now. Hey. 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 I'm recording hey. This call now. I'm Dude, recording. What, what do you mean you're recording it? What are you? What are you recording it for, for? What? Yes. I'm letting you know. Legally, I can let you know. Idea. I'm recording this call. Can yep. you send me that recording, David? I, I, I will do I, it. Listen, I don't consent on being recorded. I want that known we now. Just, That's too late. I'm not hold, Sherman. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Can I? Can I ask you guys something? Do you guys, are you familiar with your coworker named Barry Dillard? Yes. You don't have to answer that. Oh, Barry fired too? How are you going to tell him? Let me tell you what's going on. Barry told me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All three of y'all just got pranked <laughs> by your coworker, Barry Dillard. <laughs> <laughs> are you oh kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm about to have a heart attack. Oh my god. <laughs> hey y'all, nobody Whoa. has lost their job. Hannah, Frank, David, nobody oh, has lost god. their job. But your coworker, <laughs> Barry Dillard, got me the prank phone call. Y'all right? So everybody's got their job. We good. Oh, oh my goodness. My. <laughs> We're gonna have to get Barry back Whoa. up. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Okay. I'm yeah, good. good. I'm good now. I'm good. <laughs> Y'all got to tell me this. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Let me hear it. Clearly, it's Steve Harvey Morning. <laughs> Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> and you, nephew Tommy. <laughs> oh, man. We're on the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach Denise, please. Yeah, this is Denise. Hi, Denise. This is Tony. I'm calling security. Um, oh. We got an alarm that... We've got an alarm that's gone off on you guys' property. Is are, are you guys? Um, we're just checking before we send authorities out. Is everything okay? Did maybe someone trip the alarm? Oh my gosh! No, I'm at work. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm at work right now. I'm not home. Okay, hang on one second. This is neighborhood security calling. Now, hang on one second. I'll be right back to you. Uh, okay. Denise, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Okay. They they have um they they're out there on the property. The neighborhood security. There is a black guy that is on your premise. Are you familiar with okay. who that might be? Well, I mean, my husband's black, but he should be at work right now. Okay. And he probably would have texted me if, you know, the alarm was going off. Okay. Well, I mean, do you have any other black male friends? Excuse me? Do, do, you, you, have any other, do you have any other black male friends that might be at the house? I mean, yeah, I... <laughs> It's a very weird question. I mean, I have black friends, yes, but I don't think they would be in my house. Okay. Well, I mean, should we just assume that this is your husband? What do you think? I, I, I mean, what, what no, would you I like mean, for me to do? My husband's at work. I, I mean, uh, what? How tall is this person? My husband's six uh, three. He's a pretty tall second. guy. Hold on one second. Let me go back to the, uh, the scary from the neighborhood. Hang on one second. Yeah, no, somebody's in my house. my alarm's going off. I, I don't know. I mean. Okay, Denise? Yes. Okay, they have a the black guy that they're looking at is about 5 foot 10, uh maybe late 20s. How old is your husband? No. <laughs> my husband is I just told you that my husband's not there. He would have texted me or called me and told me that he accidentally set the alarm off and I I'm okay. actually going to text him. I mean, this is crazy. I, I should probably call him. Okay, I mean, you, you do realize if we send you do realize if we send the authorities out and this is a false call that you're going to get charged for that. You do know that, right? A false call? You just said somebody's in my house, and it's not me or my husband. Right. So I mean, you shouldn't be charging husband, me for that. You're saying your husband's black, and then there's a black guy there. I mean, they probably know each other, right? Are you f***ing kidding me? What kind of question is that? They, they, why, because they're both black? I'm just trying to save you some money, ma'am. I don't want to send out police officers when they get there, and then all of a sudden your husband knows the black guy, or he's he's a relative or something. I mean, do, do they? I mean, you know, do you want to oh, call and see if you're? My God, well, you think like <laughs> this is really offensive, and and I don't understand if I'm telling you that I don't know who the person is in my house, 
That means okay. that you should send the police. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, okay. Can you see I'll, what? I'll, my black, my oh, black. Hang on, they're, call, they're calling black. back. The neighborhood, hang, just hold on one second, Denise. The neighborhood okay. security's calling back here. Oh, oh my God. This is f-ing ridiculous. Okay, Denise, now, the, the security in the neighborhood, they're telling me that uh, this guy just drove out of the garage in a white pickup. Do you, do you guys have a white pickup? Yes, we do. So. This guy just pulled out of your, your, your garage in a white pickup. Well, I have my car at work, and my husband has his car. That's, like, the, the truck that he uses on the weekends for, like, construction and stuff. So that means somebody just stole our car. I, I can't believe this is happening. You are watching somebody in my house, and you, you basically watch them steal my truck. Well, we're, well, well we're, I'm going to go ahead now and get the police to go over, now? okay? Now? Why the f*** are you going to send them now? He probably took all my sh- in my house. I mean, so um, the police get there, there's not going to be anything left in my house. He probably just stole okay. the back of the I, truck. I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to help I know, you out here. I know. What the f*** is it going to do me now? I mean, the whole time you've been talking to me, he's been cleaning out my house out and stealing Well, how did he get in your house? I don't f***ing know. I don't know this guy. You're okay, interrogating well, me? What the f***? I was asking you, how could somebody get in your house? What, what, did you leave something open? What, what, what did you go Oh, okay. Hey. Listen, you would know because I wouldn't have been able to set my alarm this morning if something was open. It would beep and it wouldn't let me set the alarm. And the fact that you're interrogating me when somebody's robbing my house, you need to do your job. I need to call my so, husband. You're, you're wasting my time. I, I mean, by the time the police get there, it's going to be tomorrow. So you're gonna so you're gonna call Daryl now. I'm sorry. You're gonna call Daryl now. How the f- do you know my husband's name? <laughs> Hello? Denise, Denise, this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband Daryl got me to prank phone call. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna come down there and. So nobody stole my truck, right? <laughs> nobody stole your truck. Nobody's at your house. Your alarm is fine. Everything is good. Oh, but Daryl told me he said, we got to get my wife. We got to get her good. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, Did we get you? Oh, my God. I was sweating. I was so sweating. I was sweating over here. <laughs> All right. So tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm trying to... Charles? I'm looking for a Charles. Yeah, this Charlie. I'm oh, sorry, this who's that? This is Charlie. How can I help you? Hey, listen, um... I, I'm... You probably... I'm who am I speaking with? I'm oh, sorry, this is Scotty, man. I'm, uh... I'm house sitting for real. Y'all oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She told me what's going on now. What can I do for you? Uh, how far y'all found the way, man? Y'all in the house? Walk by house? Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, okay, are you are you busy right now, man? Well, actually, I'm in the middle of my wife's dinner, and uh, that's a deal for real. But other than that, you know, okay. I mean, you you, you are you able to help me out with something right quick, or you got you got time for that? Well, like I said, I'm in the middle of cooking. There's something I can help you with. I, I you know I don't mind coming down there and, and uh, showing you know, doing whatever it is that we need to do. Okay, Charlie, would you have to have any paper, man?
what you gonna do. I'm telling you where I pay rent at. Don't tell me to do over here. Okay, well listen, man. Uh, aren't you concerned that your trash is stinking and reeking through the whole neighborhood? I don't give a damn if who smell my trash. If they got a problem with it, tell them come take it out. Seal it in and stay it out there. Okay, well, that's the problem. The problem is, is that you took it out and you took it out too early. You, you shouldn't have put it out till Tuesday morning. And that's Tuesday, what we're going to start Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Monday, and Friday. If I put it out there and say it out there, so they come get it. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, man. I okay. don't give a damn what you going to do. You ain't going to call me telling me to take my trash out. I pay rent over here. Okay, well, hey. How uh, is everybody smelling my trash out of everybody on the street? I, I don't know. I, I, from my understanding, there's it's a couple of holes in it. There's some... Some food or something must have got out. I don't know if, a, if one of the rodents or a dog got in it or what the case may be. But, you know, we need to try to get your trash in the backyard or something, man. My trash ain't going no damn well. And how come you the one? What you the focusing on this? How come my next-door neighbor ain't calling? How come your around the corner and you call? Who put you up to this? Well, well, everybody's smelling it. I was just fortunate enough to get your phone number. I said, well, look, I just gone and called it myself. Well, I tell you this. You and the hey, you my phone number. Tell her Come take it out. Till then, it ain't going nowhere, Claire. Okay, well, 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 well listen, let's swerve. This is what we decide on in case we got to this situation with you. And I what, just, what's that? I just come over there and put the trash in your backyard until you, Tuesday oh. morning. And Tuesday morning, I'll come back over there and take it out. Oh. That way, all the smell will be in your backyard. And Hold on. on the you say you go what? I'm going to come over there and put the trash in your backyard so the so the smell, that funky. I mean, that's, that, that, I'm let sorry. Me tell you, let me tell you this, man. If you come over here, you might well call the police, because that's who you're going to need if you come over here. Bring all the f***ers that had a problem saying my trans thing to come over here and take it out. Well, hey, come man, you, you, I mean, you, you try, you try, you trying to act like it don't smell, man. Your well, I don't give a f*** if it smell. I'll tell you what I do. I'll go out and pull Clorox on it. Would that, would that, would that help you out a little bit? Oh, 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 okay, but see, that's not what the people in the neighborhood want. We want you to I take I don't give a damn what they want. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. And how the f*** did you get my phone number in the damn way? Hey, I already told you, man. I got your number from one of the neighbors on your street that said they who? didn't want to get Tell in the middle of Tell me who, to the left or to the right. Tell me which one of the f*** gave okay, you Okay, listen, 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 swear. Once you get to the meat of the problem, the problem is your trash stink, dog. How is my trash? How the hell y'all pinpoint my trash out of everybody else's trash on the Block. And how in the hell you smell mine? I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if your trash busted open or what the deal is. But everybody's saying, everybody's saying it's swerve trash. That's that's stinking. Listen, that's too much trash for me to be going through trying to see what thing. It's dying bags of trash out there, and it's gonna stay out there until they come get it. And you ain't coming over here. Okay, now, that's, see, that's where you're wrong, Swerve. No, I am wrong. coming over there. I'm coming over there, and I'm going to take that trash and put it in the backyard till two. Now, if you're going to try to get in my way, whatever. But i got to go on and get this trash in the back. I tell you what, bring your over here right now. I'm going to put on my suit. I'm standing on the porch right now. Bring your around the corner. Come on, Rico, whatever your name is. Just Rico. I'm Rico one street over, and I'm smelling your nasty trash, man. Take your trash out. My may smell, but you ain't going to come take it out. I bet you that. Hey, 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 hey listen, Swerve. I'm going to say this. Word. Man, stop calling my name. Excuse me? Stop calling my name. Who in the hell told you to call me Swerve? All my call me by that name. Oh, oh, okay, well, hey, 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 that's what they call you. What's wrong with me calling uh, What's wrong with me calling you, you Swerve? You don't call me that name. Now, you saying my trash thing. Come over here and take the trash out. Hey, man, I ain't, I ain't nobody sitting there scared of you, Swerve. I'm trying to get, I'm trying I, to get the name. Didn't I just tell you stop calling my name and no Word. Come over here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, well, hey, then, then it is what it is. Bottom line, I'm on my way over there to move that damn trash. Come on. Come over here. Come over here and move it. I'm on the porch right now. Come on over well, here. Meet me out by the nasty thing trash you got. I'm standing right next to it now. Okay, well, I tell you what, I'm on my way now. And, 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 and guess what I'm going to do when I get over there? What the f you ain't going to do? What the f you going to do? I'm going to tell you my damn name when I get over there. My name is Nep you Tommy from the Steve Who? Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your cousin, Arise. <laughs> oh, man, get the f out of here. <laughs> hey, man, I got to ask you something, dog. What is, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Oh, man, Steve Harvey Show, man. Right? <laughs>
Uh, I'm trying to reach Deacon. Uh, you got him. Who is this? Deacon, hey, for my God. How you doing yeah, today? I'm, I'm doing, I ain't doing too good. You done been over here praying for my wife again, right? Yeah, right, right. Yes, sir. You done came over here three times in one week. My, my wife had yeah. already went through the operation and all that. She's going to be fine. I don't need you over here praying three times a week because... Uh, honestly, I think it's something else on your mind when you come over here praying for my wife. I ain't stupid. Brother, you kind of make, hold it, brother. This brother, this is. Well, your wife was on the sick and shut in list. I, and Reverend I, I, asked I you to come by. Reverend hey, requested that I come by. Okay, he ain't requested for you to bring your black to my house for no three times in one week, man. So you can cut that out with me. You can Wait cut that out. Hold it, brother. I came with Sister Georgia the first time. The second time, I came by myself because she wasn't able to come by. And I only stayed 15 minutes each time. So what's the problem? Because I, I already know what you're what you doing. I know you're trying to holler at my wife. I ain't stupid. Help at your wife? I have a wife. Why would I help at your wife? She's part I of already, the research I already know what you. I already know what you're doing, man. You up in there trying to holler doing. my wife. Why no? Why no? Why nobody at the house? I already know what you're doing. Let me tell you something. Keep your black away from my house. If you want to pray for my wife, you can pray wait for my wait wife. Wait a minute. 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 You can't. Hit, wait a minute. Hold it. You can't talk to you're me like that. You're gonna make me lay hands hey, on you. That's what you're gonna make oh, me nah, do. Oh no, brother. It ain't gonna be none of that. It ain't gonna be none of that. You're talking to the wrong brother now. Okay. Now, first of all, you're not going to disrespect me and curse me out, okay? That's not even the way brothers should be talking to brothers. Second of all, if there's any laying on the hands, it's going to be my hands laying on you, okay? You ain't finna lay uh, finna lay. I, I know uh, what you're trying you know, to lay on my wife. See, if I find well, out you're what cheating and you, around, you know what? I find out you messing around with my wife, it's going to be some I, I, I know you're what crazy. you're trying to do. You're crazy. I'm, you're I'm crazy. just letting you're you go. I'm going to say it one more time. Keep your black... Off around my house. You know, first of all, I told you once again, you can't be talking to me like that. Now, I'm trying to be cool about the situation because I know you may be just upset. Okay, I can appreciate that. Okay, I have a wife, and I'd be upset if somebody was coming by visiting my well, wife. Why don't you, why don't you spend more time often. at your house with your wife? I then. do spend my time with my wife. Time. I do. You know, I don't spend maybe, much time. Maybe, I only came maybe, by two or three times. Your house. Maybe I need to come by your house and holler at your wife. Well, you're welcome to. But maybe I, mean, maybe, maybe I know. need to come, come, come lay something over there on her. Oh, now you you're trying, no, you're trying now, to do it, my Hold it. Hold it one minute. Hold it one minute. I told you before, you're being disrespectful. Now, that was a very idiotic statement for you to make. Okay? That's what's going to happen if I catch your black at my house again. I'm going to play this, man, and then I'm getting off the phone with you. You, your pastor, any more of them deacons, if anybody come by my house again and I ain't there, I'm kicking your black <laughs> That's a promise. You know what? Uh, that's it. Look here, brother. If there's going to be any <laughs> whooping going on, I'm going to be kicking your <laughs> I'm going to lay my hands on you, and I'm going to give you a good, sanctified <laughs> whooping, and then I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray to heal you by this foot. I'm going to put up <laughs> okay? Because I've, I've had it with you, you know, and I only went by to, to visit your wife because I was asked to go visit your wife. Now, that was a problem. You should have called the pastor. Okay, but you're not going to disrespect me, my wife, the church, on the phone. Now, if you want to do somebody, you can meet me any place. Well, I'm, 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 you know, as a matter of fact, I can go anywhere I want in this town. If I be at your house talking to your wife, if the pastor asks me to go, I'm going to be there, okay? I, you, you know, you just, you know, it's, you're just a stupid brother. Okay. You need to come to church. You need to come to church. You need to come to church. You need to come to church more often. That's the problem. You don't come to church more often. If you come to church more often, you wouldn't be talking to me like that. You wouldn't be worried about me and your wife because there must be something wrong at your house. You'd be worried about me fooling with your wife. Okay. So you need to check her. Okay. You need to check her. How about that? Why don't you do that? Why don't you? Why don't you just check her? Okay. Tommy said you the one that's cheating with, with my wife. That's that's, that's all I know. Who? Tommy. Tommy who? said you. Tommy the one. Tommy said you the one that's cheating around with my wife. Tommy, who the who? Who is Tommy? <laughs> Tommy who? Uh, uh, this is nephew Tommy, man. This uh, f- but this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. The, 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 the church member. Uh, 
got me the prank phone call. Y'all wrong for that. <laughs> you know, y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. You know, y'all on the highway to hell. All of y'all. You know, nonstop. No, you know, y'all just, you know, y'all just gone, you know. Ain't no stop sign. You know, I'm finna go. I'm finna pray for all of y'all. All of you brothers. Nephew Tommy, Steve Harvey. Brother is wrong for that. Okay. I'm gonna check him. I'm finna oh, check brother. him. I'm finna go. I'm finna, I don't talk to y'all no more. I'm praying hey, for hey, all hey, of y'all. Hey, one more thing. Hey, brother, 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 brother. Before you go, man, what's, you got to tell me, what's the baddest radio show in the land, man? Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. <laughs>
Hello. Hello. I am trying to reach uh, Adrian. Adrian. Uh, yeah, this is this is he. How how can I help you? How you doing? My name is uh, my name is Rashad. I'm with uh, GPT, and we um have a delivery for you. I'm going to be arriving probably in the next, uh, I guess about the next ninety minutes. Are you are you actually at the house, sir? Um, no, I'm 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 not at home right now. But I mean, you can just go ahead and leave whatever it is. Okay, so is anyone there right now at all? Uh, no, nobody is home right now. I I don't understand why you can't just. Just leave the package there for us. No, get, uh, well, please. this has to be this has to be signed, and I have you on here as the handler for this delivery. So I definitely got to get Hand- quite a few signatures what do you, from what do you, you. What do you mean I'm I'm a handler? I, well, handling what? What are you What are you delivering? This is GPT, sir. This is Global Pet Transport. We have two peacocks, we have a seal, and we have a baby kangaroo that we're dropping off today. Okay, this guy. <laughs> It's got to be some kind of mistake, right? I we have a dog. That's it. We don't. We don't. We're not an animal sanctuary here. I don't. I don't understand what what you're talking about. We didn't a, a kangaroo, a seal. I mean, you're what? you're 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 Adrian, correct? Yeah, that's my name, man. But okay, and you're 38 you're my... North River Drive. Listen, listen. Yes, that is accurate. But again, I, I'm not a handler. I'm not handling things. Okay. Okay, so sir. I, let me let me. Let, if there is some confusion. You, your name is here. Your address is here. So I don't see where I have a problem. Everything I'm asking you, you're saying is correct, except now you're saying you don't want your delivery. It's not my delivery, man. So this, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is not, I didn't order a kangaroo. I didn't order these things, okay? A kangaroo, a seal, and two peacocks. That doesn't even make sense, man. Two peacocks? Whose order is this? This is not my order, man. You got my name. You okay, so here's you okay, so order. here's here's what we need to do. You, will your wife be here? Would be at the house within the next ninety uh, minutes? She, she 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 might be, but you know what? What are you saying? What I'm going to do is leave them here, leave them at your at your place, and you can call the company that shipped them, and you can figure out oh, what uh, went wrong oh, or whatnot. Oh, but it is my oh, d- on, to leave oh, these oh, animals there. What 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 is your what's your name, brother? What's your name, brother? My name is Rashad. Rashad, let me tell you something right now, okay? You're not about to leave no motherfucking animals at my fucking house, okay? You're not leaving no peacocks. You're not leaving no fucking kangaroos. You're not leaving no fucking seals, okay? We're not having a fucking petting zoo at my house. When I get to my house, Rashad, ain't no fucking animals going to be there, okay? Okay, you know what? Hold on a second, okay? Let me, let me get my wife on the phone here, all right? Let me, let me call my wife. Well, hang on. Hang on, sir. Okay? I don't... I, listen, sir, I don't have time for you to reach out to your wife, for you to try to figure out what you're going to do about your kangaroo, your peacocks, your seal. I'm, no. I got to make this drop. I got to keep moving. I have other animals on the truck. I don't give a f- about your other animals, okay? I'm going to call my wife and I'm going to see if she maybe ordered the damn kangaroo or seal, okay? Because I know I didn't order sh- all right? We're going to okay. figure this sh- out, okay? And she's not going to Okay, hey, sir, sh- listen to me. Listen to me, sir. You can figure this out when you get home. Right now, I'm I'm now about an hour out. I'm gonna drop the animals. Okay, you if there's something, sh- sir, if, if 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 it's not yours, somebody will come back tomorrow and pick them up. What the f- you mean somebody gonna come back and pick them up tomorrow? I'm not gonna have no f- seal in my house overnight. Who the f- you think I am, huh? I ain't Mary Poppins, man. I ain't out here doing nothing with these f- animals like this. You you crazy, Rashad? Please. If there's a f-ing okay. animal at my house when I arrive, so help me God. So 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 help you God. What you gonna have it? The, the animals gonna be there when you get there, man. You're not finna. You you slowing up my whole delivery uh, route today. Okay, you, I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this sh- either, man. I'm not f-ing know I'm But why you order? Why you order a kangaroo if you don't want it now? If I didn't order the f-ing kangaroo, that's why I don't want the f-ing kangaroo because I didn't order the f-ing kangaroo. Why don't you be telling me what the f-ing I ordered and what the f-ing I want, okay? This is the worst customer service in the f-ing world. I don't even a f-ing customer of yours. You trying to tell me that I got a f-ing kangaroo, a peacock, and peacocks? Plural, you have two, two peacocks. You have two and peacocks, sir. This doesn't even make any f-ing sense, man. What the f-ing I'm going to do with those animals? Huh? Those animals I, well, I don't know what you're going to do with them, but you're going to sign You're gonna sign this paperwork, though. That's what you're going to do. Are you out your f-ing mind if you think I'm signing that f-ing paperwork? Hey, man, I don't. I don't, order I, 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 animals, listen, man. I did not listen, order I, them. I don't want to whoop your ass at your house in front of your wife and kids behind some damn animals. I don't. Wish but you're going to you sign would. my paperwork. I wish you would. I wish you would try to whoop my ass 
in front of me. I'm about to show my kids what it looks like when a motherfucker show up and talks real reckless. Okay, you showing up here with a damn caravan of animals like I'm in the fucking. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, huh? No, out of my face, man. This is ridiculous. It's, it's, there's only one thing I, I really just I, only one last thing I need to tell you to be honest Please, with you wh what is that the only thing I can tell you now Adrian is that I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey morning show your wife Bridget got me to prank phone call you oh man you gotta be f***ing kidding me <laughs> oh man <laughs> woo wow oh, <laughs> <this> is... <laughs> you don't want the delivery man you don't man, want what, I don't want the kangaroo man I don't want the Orders a kangaroo. Who, who orders those animals together, man? You gotta be high up your mind to order those damn animals together. <laughs> All right, baby. Give it to me. 2020. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Let me hear it, Adrian. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to reach our uh, Brielle, please. Uh, this is she, Master speaking. This is Lawrence from the job. How you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, we got. A situation at the job. Uh, I know it's a little late this evening. Uh -huh. um, are, are you are you all right health wise? How are you feeling? Um, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> like, I mean, I got a little well, cold, so I've been a little under the weather. But you're you you're in a cubicle. Then. Most of the the people around your cubicle are starting to be a little worried because they're saying that you know you're you're coughing a lot, and and coughing? you know, yeah. So I mean, let I me ask you something. Right. Okay. Do you think that you need to maybe be tested? Tested? For what? I know you ain't talking about this damn, uh, uh, what's it called? Coronavirus. Do you, you do you, do you, do you think you need to be tested? Do I think, I, I think you need, no, excuse me. Wait, let me, hold on. Listen, I know the world's in a frenzy, but everybody don't got no damn coronavirus. Okay. I have a cold. I'm a little stuffy, but nonetheless. Like I'm so, taking care of food so, and taking care of myself. I don't need to be tested for anything. Okay, so I, do you do you think it's possible? Maybe you need to be self quarantined and, to, and, and Lawrence, find out. Lawrence, Lawrence, honey, I think you are stepping on toes right now. Okay, um, I, that that's very inappropriate. I don't know who put you up to this, but nonetheless, I think y'all really stepping on. Toes. This, this got to be like HIPAA or something. Like, what the f is this? Okay, like. Okay. I don't okay, have let me, no damn let, okay. coronavirus. So let me just say this to you. We, I, I've talked to everybody on that floor that you work on. All right. I've talked. I've talked to Darlene. All right. I've talked to what's the other girl? Her name is Loretta. I think. Loretta. I've, I've spoken with Loretta. Uh, Loretta. Loretta. Okay. Ain't just, just say no mess like that. What, what, what are you? Th okay. So here, here, let me. Let me. Let me. Let, let me say this. You got one more cough, and they and they gonna put you out of the building. One more you got. Cough. Listen, okay, Lawrence. That's your name, right? My name is Lawrence. I'm on the eighth you, floor. You yes. Working, you, okay, you on the eighth floor, so you're not even in, in HR to even be coming at me like this. First but all, but 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 you know what? We tr I went to the we doctors. I don't know where, where y'all get off coming at me like that. Okay, I do not get paid enough for nobody to be testing me by my personal business. Okay, y'all really y'all be twisted. I quit this job. Y'all got me all the way up. Okay. 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 Let me let me go and say this here. You act like this your personal business. It's our business when you start coughing all over the building and we go in the country going through what is going through right now, what the world is going through. So you got to understand what that the we. World we is going through. I don't give a damn what the world is going through. I'm going through my own. Shit, okay. All right. I got two kids. I work very hard. I'm a single mother and I'm about to have to do the best I can. I got a call and I still bring my ass to work every day and I be on time. So for anybody to be coming at me like that, that is disrespectful. Okay, I put in ten years at this job, and I don't give a damn. Y'all got me messed up. Now I need to speak to your higher up. Who is your boss? I, hey, listen, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it one more time. You got one more cough, and your ass is out this. Bitch. That's it. You Ain't nobody finna get. Time to talk to me like that, and I'm gonna drop through this mother phone and choke your ass. Uh-uh, 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 
Uh uh-uh. uh. See, there it is, right there. That's it, right there. Did you did you just cough again? Did you just cough? Listen, I, I'm Bri- 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 Brielle, Brielle, did you just ca- did you just cough? Yes, I just coughed. I told you I got a cold. I don't got no damn coronavirus. You know what? I ain't about to argue with you. Where's your boss? Who's your boss? Who's your mother boss? I were, I, uh, Tommy is, is, is my higher up. Tommy? Yeah, Tommy is Tommy is the person that's over me. What? What's Tommy? I don't know no Tommy. <laughs> Do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Huh? Darlene and Loretta got me to prank phone <laughs> call you. Listen, 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 Brielle, Brielle. Darlene oh and Darlene and Loretta got me to prank phone call you. Your girls oh is in the God. cubicles with you. Got me oh to prank God. phone call you. Oh, I'm gonna kill them. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. I'm so embarrassed. They told me they say mess with her about her cold. I was like, all right, come on, give oh it to God. me. I got it. Wait, so you guys got this on your show? Mrs. It's, Mr. It's, Harvey? It's, like y'all gonna it, it, Oh my God! Uh, why would y'all play with me like that? Oh my uh, God! I'm over here fighting this cold, trying to pay my bills, struggling, single mom. Like, oh my God! I can't believe y'all got me like this on the radio. Well, I got you, baby girl. Tell me this: 2020, what's the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? What is it? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Now go take you some NyQuil or some music next or something, here. Yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to get uh, Andrea, please. Uh, who's calling? This is Dr. Hendricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got, how you doing, Doc? How you doing? I'm all right. She's not, Andrea, she's not in right now. It's, uh, you want to leave a message or something? Uh, yeah. I'm, leave her a message. That I, you know, she came in. She had an appointment this morning. Right, 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 right. Anything okay? Right. Oh, everything's good. Everything's good. You know, I've been Andrea's uh, gynecologist for quite some time now, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right, right, right. Okay, well, listen, can, can see if she's able to get back in tomorrow. I need to get one more good look at her. Yeah, one more good look? Is everything okay? Uh, Yeah, well, Greg, right? Yeah, what's up? Talk to me. I, I'll tell you something, man, that I, and I don't really, you know, talk like this, but off the record, man, you you and I, man, we'd be, uh, <laughs> we're the only ones, aren't we? What? What did you say? Like? You and I, we're the only ones, aren't we? The only ones what? What are you talking about? What, what, what are you saying? Well, you know, we, we're the only ones that's seen it, you know? Oh, 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 oh. What, what, what are you saying, Doc? Uh, just just stating that, you know, off the record, you, you and I, that we're the, we're the, we're the only ones, we're you the, know? We're the only ones what? What are, you, what, are you, what are you saying, Doc? I'm not understanding you. What are you saying? We are the only ones what? Well, well, we, we have, you and I have something in common. I mean, you and I are the only one that, that's, uh, you know, basically seen Andrea. What are you, you know? Wait a minute. That's not a topic of discussion, Doc. What What are you trying to say? What are you saying about my wife? I mean, I, she's amazing, man. I mean, uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't need you to tell me about my wife being amazing, Doc. You lost your damn mind? Well, I'm just saying she looks she looks amazing. She looks amazing. I, I, I don't mean any harm you, by what you I'm ain't saying. Sp- wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You ain't supposed to be looking at her in that type of fashion, Doc. What the hell is wrong with you? What type of unprofessional <laughs> is this here? You're telling my wife is amazing. You lost your damn mind? I can't believe I'm getting a phone call like this. This is the most unprofessional <laughs> I've ever heard. But I, let's keep in mind, Greg, I, I, I wasn't really calling you. I was calling her. You know? Well, you ain't talking to her. You're talking to me. And you're going to bring that type of shit on the phone to me? Have you lost your mind? You're okay, going to well, be a professional, well, listen, Doc. Is, is, is there a way you can pass the message that I'd like I to come tomorrow? So I... On to her. I ain't passing nothing to her. You hear me? You're going to make me do something crazy to you. I don't believe you call me with that type talking about my wife. Me and you and I got something in common. She's amazing. Have you lost your damn mind? Sir, I didn't mean to. I didn't think. I just yeah, well, you being, did. You did. I, Don't. Well, I, I, I was fact, just I, a little, no, no, no. I was being a little playful with you. I didn't think that was going to. No, this ain't no, uh, this ain't no play. What's wrong with you? Hey, who playing? I'm not playing. Don't you ever. Matter of fact, 
Doc, I, I need to see you. I need to have, I need to see, have a session with you. We can talk about this here. You lost your dog on mine talking about my wife? Amazing to you? You're the most unprofessional. How she even go to you all these years? Uh, huh? All right, was there any way you can get her to come in so I can get one good look at her tomorrow? No, hell no. She ain't coming down to that little ragged. I'm coming down there. When I come down there, we, oh, no. Matter of fact, I'm on my way down there. You, how long are you going to be there? We can, fit, we can, we can straighten I, this I, out. I've, I've left the office for today. I just wanted to call and see if I could get one good look at her for tomorrow. No, no. There you go again with that one more good going to look. No, no. Let me tell you one thing, Doc. She ain't coming there to you no more. No more. No more. Is she coming back to see you? Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to lose a customer. Not, not like I definitely. No, you ain't gonna, want... you ain't gonna lose a customer. I'm coming there tomorrow. Make me an appointment. You can check my out tomorrow and see how you like that. Uh, sir, that, that's what? That's not possible. Okay, okay that's I, possible. I definitely don't. We don't oh, we I don't want to lose her. Whether you like it I, or not. It's going to hurt me if I lose her as a client. Oh, I don't want to miss seeing her. It's going to hurt you. It ain't going to hurt you that you're losing her. It's going to hurt you when I get there. Don't you worry about her. Okay, don't you Greg, worry about you got, her. Greg, you got to calm down, okay? I'm calm. I'm, I'm calm. I was being, I was being playful, and I, no, had, I should not no have done play that. We too, you're too old to be playful. Play I'm seeing you in the morning. First thing in the morning. Uh, okay. What time, uh, what time you get at 10 o'clock? Can I ask you something, Greg? Do you have a brother named Tyron? What they got to do with anything? What they got to do with my brother? What they got to do with you? Okay, what I wanted to tell you is this is not Dr. Hendricks. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your brother Tyron got me to prank phone call you. I don't give a who you. I'm coming to see you. What? What you say? <laughs> Tyron did what? <laughs> hey, oh, hey, Greg, no. Greg, 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 pull up, take this out. Your brother Tyron. What? Yeah, this is this is nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your brother Tyron got me to prank phone call you. That's what I thought you said, man. <laughs> hold on, man. Oh, oh, man, let me sit down for a minute, man. Damn. Oh my goodness, boy, you lost your damn. <laughs> hold on, man. You don't, don't, you don't do you don't do no <laughs> like that, man. Got my wife, y'all. What? What's my brother? I, I'm going to be talking to him first. You going to see Tyron tomorrow? I'm going to see him first thing in the morning, man. First thing in the morning. I'm ready to kill everybody. Hell no. Hey, I got to ask you, man. What's the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, man. You crazy. 